what is good raider nation is your boy raider alex back with you another video for you guys anybody that's new to the channel you guys love raider related content just like this make sure to like comment subscribe to the channel that being said let's jump right into the topic of this video with the second round pick the 44th overall selection the las vegas raiders selected center out of oregon jackson powers johnson and today i wanted to jump into his film see what type of characteristics and show what type of player the Raiders are getting to help bolster that offensive line. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tape. Now the first thing I will mention when it comes to his game is he's an absolute dog when it comes to the run game. Watch him just open up a huge hole right up the middle here at the center position. Here we got another great display of his physicality in the run game. He does a good job off of his stance. Getting that left arm on the defensive lineman displays good pad level and just displays a great anchor. He definitely won his one-on-one -on -one matchup on this rep. In the run game once again, and this time he displays good recognition initially pushing the defensive tackle and then recognizes and picks up the linebacker which helps create a lane for his running back to pick up some big yards on first down here is a solid rep by powers johnson in pass protection he does a good job getting his hands on the defensive lineman does a good job on his assignment but the oregon left guard does not pick up the stunt and then bo nix is forced to roll out but it works out in their favor for them. Once again, we got him doing a good job in pass protection. Gets his hands on his man and he doesn't let him move even an inch. Which eventually leads to a Bo Nick scramble. But I really like what I see from him here. And on this rep, just watch him serve up this pancake like he works at your local IHOP. I just love his overall strength and overall physicality. He's definitely a player that's going to help set the tone for this Raiders offensive line. He's a mean, nasty player. In this game, we got another solid rep in pass protection. He does a good job winning the hand battle. And then after that, he shows great anchor once again and helps give his quarterback a clean pocket and just gives him all day to throw. Now in this rep, I really like this from Jackson Powers Johnson. Really good play here. We see Oregon run and end around. And what I really like to see is just look at that athleticism that Jackson Powers Johnson displays. He can move pretty well for a big fella. He gets up the field as a lead blocker and then boom. I just love how he completely lays out the defensive back at the end of this. Really sets the tone and he's a guy that's always going to play to the echo of the whistle but i just love to see this another great example of him serving up another pancake on this rep this time in pass protection now this rep just kind of personifies his play style and that's just pure nastiness and he also has like a little bit of an unorthodox style here just completely throwing his body to completely lay out the defensive lineman i mean just look at this once again that's absolutely awesome to see you know you don't see many centers doing this he's just a strong ass player and you see this man sometimes he's just gonna throw his body around he'll do whatever it takes but i really love to see this once again, just another example of him just throwing his body around to help him make blocks. He hits a guy and then picks up the middle linebacker and just completely wipes him out of the play. Good stuff. Here's another good rep against the run on this down block. He does a good job getting his hands on his man and watch him just drive those legs. Really good stuff to see. And really, this is a guy that if he gets his hands on you, he has very good strength. So it's going to be hard to come back from that. Here on this rep, I just love his ability to get to the second level and just how physical he is at the point of attack. On 
On this rep, this is another example of how strong and physical he is. I mean, most centers on football teams, they usually put their weakest link at the center position. Just because playing center is usually the easiest spot to kind of hide somebody. Also, somebody that doesn't have great strength. I mean, you can just combo block to kind of hide their weakness. But really, when you look at Jackson Powers Johnson, that's not the case with him. He can win some one-on-one -on -one matchups by himself. And he's just super strong. Here we got another pancake special served up by Jackson Powers Johnson in the run game. Just completely overpowering his man. And on this rep, watch him just completely drive his man out of the play. And then he jumps to the second level to block the defensive back. Good overall awareness and the athleticism right here. So Raider Nation, there's definitely a lot to like from Jackson Powers Johnson. Now, at the University of Oregon this last season, he played the center position and was an All-American. Everything seems to indicate that the Raiders are going to move him over to the guard position. And I think that's a good move. I think Andre James is okay. He's a serviceable starter, but we have a glaring need at that right guard position. And I think Jackson Powers Johnson will be able to step in quite well he did play guard with Oregon in his three years before he got moved full-time to center but I think the Raiders are going to use him as a guard this year maybe the year after as well and you know now the Raiders have flexibility at the center position when it comes time to decide what they want to do with Andre James when his contract is up and if they want to move on from him they can either completely move Jackson Powers Johnson back to the center position I mean we also got Dylan Parham who in the past played center in college as well and just in general just the players we got in here most of them are pretty versatile they can move in and out in certain situations I mean not only that like if Andre James got injured in a certain game then you know we got Jackson Powers Johnson to move over if he has to but overall, when you're talking about Jackson Powers Johnson, this is another great value pick at 44. I mean, almost everybody kind of projected him to be a first round talent. Most people had him as the best center of this year's draft. And the Raiders were able to get him in the second round. Like I said, great value for the position. And what I like is it also serves a position of need. We do need help on the offensive line. I think... Jackson Powers Johnson should be able to step in from day one and just translate quite well. One interesting statistic from him is in his three years of college, he did not give up one single sack and he had over 470 pass blocking reps and in all those reps, he only gave up one pressure. So that definitely shows his dominance and prowess at the college level. Now, to be fair, I will say the University of Oregon their offense is typically predicated on quick throws, getting the ball out quickly. So that definitely had some factor to it. And I don't know if that's going to be like a similar style that we do here with Luke Getze. But when you look at Jackson Powers Johnson, the one player he just kind of reminds me of is Richie Incognito. And Richie Incognito, I mean, when we had him just for that short span, that 2019 season, I just loved how he played, played so physically. He just felt like a Raider and Jackson Powers Johnson is a player that just fits the mold as a Raider. It's also reported that he grew up a fan of this team as well. So I'm definitely very excited about that. You're getting a player with very strong anchor. He's super strong, super physical, can get after it in the run game. He's a player that's going to help set the tone and the physicality for this offensive unit. And I just love that, man. On every single good offensive line, you just need one nasty motherfucker to help set the tone. And I think that's what we have in Jackson Powers Johnson. I really like the pickup. And I think he should be able to translate very well to the next level. But Raider Nation, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below of Jackson Powers Johnson. But with that being said, Raider Nation, that's all for you guys in today's video. Anybody that's new to the channel, you guys love Raider-related content just like this one. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.